Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the AFAL champ, the adult fan of LEGO champion, here with set uh, 10308, if I'm remembering that correctly. It's Holiday Main Street, and uh, this is not this year's uh, Christmas Village or Winter Village set, but it's the first one I've ever built. So, uh, you know, I thought to myself uh, that it's th getting to be that time of year. I had the time to do it. I had this sitting in my backlog. And uh, to be honest with you, I just kind of wanted some of the parts out of this to potentially work into the city here soon. I don't know if I'm going to get it in uh, in a very reasonable amount of time because I never do, but that was kind of the plan. But uh, yeah, I'm real happy with this set. Um, I mean, the price per part is pretty great. I mean, it's like uh, 1,500 pieces for 100 bucks, so in price per parts, well under 10. You get uh, two buildings, six minifigures, some little uh, standalone like side pieces over here, and then of course the Christmas trolley. Um, I will say Christmas trolley is probably not the thing I think of when I think of Christmas stuff. Uh, I think they execute it well though. Uh, kind of same with a music a music store is not the first thing I think of with it. I come to it when I think of a Christmas village or anything like that. But it makes sense. Same with a uh, a toy store, less so. I mean, shouldn't you? I guess I looked at the toy store when I talked about music, and then, but uh, yeah, the shouldn't shouldn't uh, if you're in a Christmas village, shouldn't Santa bring the toys? You don't have to buy them. I mean, I get I get it what they're getting at here, but um, yeah, I mean, as a whole, again, I like I like all of this. The I like the little side build here i like the clock tower and i like the use of stickers to make this it's not just a mailbox it's a christmas mailbox uh pretty solid build here on uh on the on the christmas tree I mean, that's free, that's like again that is like a heavy tree when you look at the minifigures they don't have exclusive prints and i don't think they were exclusive at the time when the set came out either but there's a lot of kind of rare and harder to get uh or hard from, again I don't know if they're really rare, but less common torsos and faces and head pieces or hair pieces. I do like that the little boy also kind of goes along with, uh, like with his little letter, goes along with having the mailbox. That gives kind of purpose to the uh, the mailbox. Yeah, you can see you got three kind of like civilians in the holiday uh, main street. And then you have the three people running. You have the trolley operator the music store owner and the toy shop uh owner as well when you look at the actual builds now again what i really like with this this is my favorite part of it uh is the holiday is the christmas trolley my least favorite part is the fact that this doesn't actually like snap in it just kind of sets there uh i do i really like that they give you instructions on how to motorize it i think that would be great and it's something i kind of intend on doing uh I still obviously have to get those parts, but I, I do really like the just having the option. Really, is something I like a lot. Um, it's a solid build. Again, I don't know how it works on train tracks. It's not something I've really messed with in the past. Again, I like the use of stickers to add the um, to make it kind of a cohesive thing. There's an ad for the toy store right here. Have a toyful holiday. Santa's toys and games. Santa's toys and games. Again, you can see right there, and then the other side. H Jolly's Music Store, H Jolly's Music Store. So I, I really do like the the tie-in, like it's a whole cohesive, they all three go together. Um, yeah, so I like that uh, quite a bit. The buildings I also like quite a bit. Here's the, uh, the toy store also comes with a little bird, which is which is also unnecessary, but great. I really like the, the snow detailing on both of the roofs as well. Obviously, it'd be better if they weren't dollhouse style. I also understand that if this was not dollhouse style, it would at least double the the cost of, of this, and uh, you wouldn't necessarily get a whole lot more out of it. So I, I, I get it. Uh, it both of these uh, buildings come with lots of little accessories. Here you can see the apartment upstairs has like the teacup and the, the little uh, wish list. Another good use of a sticker there. Its own little Christmas tree. Down the bottom, you've got the toys, the robot, and all that kind of stuff. There's some money as well. When we look at the look at uh, the music shop, first of all, the green uh, flag I think is kind of under underrated in terms of uh, that's not. It's probably one of the 
lesser common flags. I feel like I have a ton of pink ones and a bunch of red ones and a few blues, but I don't think I've had any greens until now. And then you have lots of uh, stuff inside the store here in terms of minifigure parts. Up top, you have a even better apartment. You've got the cookies and got the whole like kitchen set up over here. You have the gingerbread house. I like the, the gingerbread house in the frame. Another excellent use of a sticker. I, li I like that the, the Lego, I always like when Lego sets uh, like reference one another. And I feel like the holiday sets are really good at that. I've noticed that in the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year sets, uh, especially. And now here it's doing it in the Winter Village set. And I this is another set I have in the backlog that I need to get uh, need to get built. And down, down here, uh, maybe I should show it from the other side, but you've got the guitar, the violin, the saxophone. You've got a brick built, uh, brick built drums. More stickers right there. There's a, uh, let's see if I can get it to focus in, like a framed newspaper. Again, I really like that. That's a good one. And then over here, hopefully that, the poster for the holiday concert. Again, really good one. I like that quite a bit. And then when you look at the front, I really like this right here, the downspout and the that uh, candlestick piece in I think that's flat silver. Yeah, I, I really like that. So uh, overall, oh, and then I have, there's stickers on both of the signs. I already alluded to those, but uh, stickers there and there. Yeah, as a whole, this is, I mean it's not a perfect uh, not a perfect set. Like I said, there's it'd be better if it was not dollhouse style. Um, I think it could be Christmas, Christmas, more Christmassy. You know, there's not a Santa Claus. Uh, you can, even the people here aren't really wearing Christmas colors. But uh, although I do think that one looks like Charlie Brown. But uh, yeah, I mean, I I really really like this set a lot. I think my biggest complaint might be that it doesn't have a light brick. I thought all the Winter Village sets were supposed to have a light brick, or am I just imagining things? But uh, again, if that's my biggest complaint, I don't even know where you would put a light brick in this. So I'm not not complaining too heavily here. So it's not a perfect set, so I can't give it an A+, but I really, really like this set a lot. So I'm going to give it an A. I think I'm going to get elements of this into my LEGO City. I think this will be displayed just in my home independently. It was a good deal. It was a fun build. I really like this a lot. So I'm going to give it an A. But uh, hopefully this has been a good uh, eight minutes of your life or so. Hopefully you've got the entertainment or information or whatever it is that you come to my channel for. Um, you know, I hope that uh, you leave me a comment. Tell me, do you think I'm being too generous? Am I being too critical? You know, tell me what you think of this set. How am I, How should I work it into my city? Again, leave me a comment. Tell me your thoughts. So uh, hopefully I hear from you soon. Hopefully you hit the like button. Hopefully you hit the subscribe button and hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.